sorry that you guys have to see this mess of a hair, but this is a couple days old wash since, you know, with all this colored hair. But, you know, just deal with it. Don't, don't look at it. It's like a real, it's really messy and it's like really flat. But, yeah. On to the review. So, of course, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a review on the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. Specifically, the reason why I wanted to try this was because of Jenny69. And she, something that she was talking about in her video was that uh, she has a really hard time finding the right shade for her skin. So she did say that I think, I believe it was bare or there was at least a shade in one of the foundations that matched her skin tone. So I thought that was a really cool thing because like she said, you know, like she doesn't have time to mix a bunch of foundations so that it would like potentially match her skin color even though sometimes it doesn't turn out the way you want it to be so yeah i'm really excited to try this i'm hoping i got the right shade um i didn't want to order two because you know i just wanted to see if this one worked first so hopefully this works out for me you guys so this is the bottle and what i really like about it is that it does come out into a pump i really like Pumps. And yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. And it is glass, so, you know, as I said before, if you have glass, be careful or you're going to break it, especially if you're clumsy like me. Okay, so the way I'm going to start this is the same way that I did it for the NYX foundation, and that is using a couple thin layers of primer because, like I said, it's really unrealistic to do a review without primer on because we are all going to put on primer because we need that little extra layer to put on the rest of our, you know, really heavy makeup. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to go in with the MAC Fix Plus. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer to cover up my pores. Okay. So now I'm going to apply the foundation. I know it looks like a tablecloth, but it's a really cute shirt. So, you know, I don't care. But yeah, applying the foundation. So I think I'm getting, I think I'm going to use a brush this time because I think for the other foundation I used a blender, beauty blender afterwards. Here. So it has a really. I don't know, it has like a really nice smell to it. Or maybe it's the smell of my brush. Okay, so I only applied one layer onto one side of my face, and so far the coverage is really, really, really good. Like, it's really good. Mine is like the small, like, blemish I have here, but so far, it's, like, the application is very good. So, but this time I think I'm just going to apply it onto my face first, and then um, buffing it in with my brush.
going to finish the rest of my makeup and I just wanted to say that the foundation does not feel cakey so far. The coverage is very, very good. So I would say it's about... I feel like it's already a medium to full coverage. So that is really, really good. So yeah, I'm just going to finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back. So I just finished my makeup. So I will be back later. It is about 12.52 right now. So I will, like I said, check back later and let you guys know how the foundation is holding up. Okay, so it is 9.58 p.m. and so far I'm really liking this foundation. I would probably give this a 10 out of 10, even though like some areas I did get a little like oily, but I think it's also with the highlighter that I applied because the parts that seem the most like shiny is like my t-zone area so like my nose area where I really went in with my highlighter but other than that the foundation is really good like I really really like it I recommend that you what are you doing in a noodle so I really recommend you guys to go out and try this product I think I used someone's um code promo code and so I think it was about, shoot, I don't remember, but I know it went down to at least $28 and it's really good for this foundation. This foundation is probably like my top, top foundation right now. And I mean like on top of like any other foundation I've tried. So I really recommend you guys to try this. I really like it. It doesn't feel cakey. So it's, it's a matte foundation and it, it has like a thick texture but it doesn't feel cakey. So as you guys saw earlier, I only applied one layer onto my face and yeah. So that is the end of my video. Um, if you guys have any questions, remember everything you can find in the description box down below. If you guys have any suggestions for future videos, make tutorials, please comment them below or you can like message me through Instagram, whatever works for you. So yeah, if you, like, I don't know if I said this already, but don't forget to subscribe, like, share with your friends and family, and yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Okay guys, so I am back. It is 9.57. Oh my god, it makes me so nervous. Okay, so it is currently 9.57 p.m. and so far, the foundation has held up. Action! Are you nervous? Action! <laughs> Can't do that to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm put that in there. <laughs> okay, so 9 with the 8 p. <laughs> what are you doing? We're just standing there. <laughs> so I'm getting a little like sweaty now. It is currently 9.58 p.m. and so far the <laughs> 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 <laughs>